Good morning, I'm Lynn Blackman, and I've been a member of the Advent for 34 years now. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. This familiar line from the Book of Common Prayer marks the beginning of our Eucharistic celebration on Sundays, inviting us to proclaim God's power and love. What a joy it will be when we can say these words together and loudly in our Advent Sanctuary. I've been feasting on God's creation for much of this pandemic summer, enjoying time with Mark, our family and friends at Edisto. As many of you well know, the South Carolina coast is an active breeding ground for vulnerable loggerhead sea turtles. To see a mama turtle make, making her way to build a nest or to watch baby turtles make their way into the ocean is pure magic. I remember the first time I saw hatchlings crawling towards the shore of Fripp Island. I was around eight years old and completely enchanted. There were strict rules about the whole turtle business back then, and this amateur was terribly intimidated by the stern turtle ladies who oversaw the watch program. That intimidation turned to despair when the patrol captain matter-of-factly told me that nearly all the babies would die within the first 24 hours. I was crushed. The turtle ladies in our small community here at Edisto are the polar opposite of those well-meaning but tough turtlers I knew years ago. Residents and visitors alike are welcome to tag along as nests are checked and excavated, as we watch the little guys struggle through sand and over waves to freedom. Children lean in and get close, while the rest of the audience is enlisted to scare away hovering seagulls. All the while, the turtle ladies patiently answer questions galore, generously sharing their expertise. Just recently, I began to tag along with the Daily Patrol, listening and learning. Those early mornings have brought such reward. On my very first outing, we guided 137 fledglings into the water, a record-setting hatch for our stretch of beach. Since then, we've hit the jackpot some days and come up empty on others, but witnessing this miracle of creation, whether on a small or large scale, never fails to make my heart swell or bring tears to my eyes or joy to my life. During this season of challenge after challenge, I'm adopting the turtle rule, being persistent in faith, as the mother loggerheads must be to lay their eggs and determined to reach the prize, despite the crashing waves that seem to roll us, flipping us upside down and backward, back to the starting gate. Slow and steady feels like just the right pace. So in closing, let's hold fast to the scriptural encouragement we have from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses one through three. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition so that you will not grow weary or lose heart.